Big 89 WLS. I promise you a good time whenever you go to the improv. I promise you an even better time this weekend. When the great Frank Kelly is there. You know, the thing about Frank is, and I haven't seen Frank in five years, maybe longer, but he used to be on the old show at the old place before they turned it into a car wash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, it's great to see you again, first yeah. off. Yeah, you great look be- great. I do. Yes, you do. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say that. You used to look horrific, but now no, you, you look, look decent. <laughs> no, you look better than decent. You look hey, really good. Yeah. And I mean that in decent a manly, uh, macho kind of way. Yeah. 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 Um, but it's great to see you. And what I was going to say is, Jane, when you have Frank on the show, yeah. you get more guests per square inch you than sure anybody do, else. You don't you? You get more than one. You get everybody. You get multiple. I told somebody earlier, I said, nothing makes me happier than when you are Jeff Goldblum. And Charles Barkley. Together? Or just, uh, <laughs> or just a conversation? Uh, is this a new buddy cop film? Ooh, <laughs> yes. We're going to take that guy down. Oh, yes. But first, we're, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to uh, uh, find a way to survive because there's dinosaurs coming to us. That, that knucklehead Tyrannosaurus Rex, just get out of his way. He's got tiny little arms. He can't get you. The tiny little T-Rex arms. Ah, yes, but uh, the uh, the ground is shaking. That means he's getting closer. No, that's just Shaq. He's on his way to visit. <laughs> You know what that is? That's the pilot. That's the pilot for the new Ten Speed and Brown Shoe. If you know Ten Speed and Brown Shoe, if you're old enough to remember that, that's the new show. Right there, Jeff Goldblum uh, original. Yes, we're gonna cut it, submit it right now. Um, You're at the Improv this weekend, and uh, as part of a worldwide uh, Frank Caliendo tour. It's basically paying for graduation parties and stuff like that is what it is. My daughter's graduating from high school, Mm. so uh, I got out and started. uh, She's. It's bigger than most weddings. Her graduation party. She's and it's all top secret too. So I can't even tell you that much about it because because that's who she is. Because you don't even know about it. Well, you're just paying the bills. No, I've seen the bills. I've seen the bills. I know there are the credit card has been. Uh, used to an extensive limit. Um, Has she committed to a school she'll protest at yet? Or? Uh, no, she's just going to ASU. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Arizona that's great. Sun Yeah, because in Arizona, if you have, she's got like a 4 2 or something like that. Just like you. She, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I tried in college. I went to the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee and I tried in college oh, okay. because I was paying for it. Sure. Uh, right. But if you get a, like a oh, 3.75 or over in high school in Arizona, you basically go to school for four or five grand a year. So, That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's crazy because they and the investment in the public That's schools, great. right? The system. I think it might even be some private so schools too. You don't even too. have to live in Arizona. Uh, you, if you if you have it in their school system, so okay. you're in state. So they've spent Got the it. money. The money's gone toward you. So their investment they want to keep in the state Got of Arizona. It. So uh, it's it works out well. What my, does she want to study? She wants to do business. She loves PR. And she loves okay. uh, she loves the um, party planning and stuff like that. Which did you, did you tell planning. her you'd be happy to fire your management if she's getting it done? Uh, yeah, well, she's already in. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she probably charges more. Though. And now, can she do impressions as well? Like, she does stuff? some. She, she does. can do. Oh yeah, she could. She, she. I mean, she's embarrassed of it some, but almost as much as she's embarrassed of me. But, uh-huh. but she's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she she my both my kids can do that kind of stuff. They they they, they don't really work it like I did, but I didn't start working on it until I was in college either. So, but you told uh, me a long time ago. You told me because you know, look, I, I love great impressions. I don't think there's ever been anybody better than you ever. And uh, because you can have a forty five minute conversation that doesn't involve sure. you. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> well, first of all, thank you, and yeah. you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there's technique, right? And people go, "Well, how do you how do you do stand up? How do you do this?" So there's no way to do it. Everybody has their own thing. Mm. But you told me a system. You told me a thing. You, you got to get the look. You got to get the thing. Well, that's what hey, the facial said expressions. It's the piece of pizza. Yeah, the pizza slice. Yeah. yeah. So it's a line across the eyebrows, dot down at the chin, a triangle downward. And basically, if you can form that in your face, you can uh, you can make people believe that's who you are. You're starting to do it right now. Like to, yeah, you're starting oh, to make faces. My, that was my interesting your face. Interesting face. Yeah, but that, but you use our faces to do those types of things. So like old school would be the George W. Bush where the eyebrows oh, yeah. go up, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> and the confusification, you know. The Trump has the look like he's looking into an aquarium and mimicking the fish. That's very, very good. <laughs> That's, Biden looks. Biden looks like he. It, Biden's the only guy I've ever seen listen with his eyes. Like they missed the president. Folks, what are we doing with the guy? The thing. Come on. What are we doing here? 
You think? Come on, I don't have to tell you. No, you do have to tell us. You have to tell us. Well, I would tell you. No, you told us too much. Okay, not my turn. Where are we talking about? <laughs> Listen, let me be clear. This is a mess. So let me ask you: Have since he passed, have you been haunted at all by the ghost of John Madden? Uh, not that I know of, but now that I, I, now that I'm thinking about it, some dishes have been falling lately. <laughs> Ooh, uh, lights have been turning yeah, on. Yeah, right. Uh, hey, we're going to get them back. Boom. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I don't know. People don't ask. It used to be that's all people would ask for. The first thing they would do is, uh, you know, you go on a radio station or TV or whatever. It's sure. like, do John Madden. The whole, even Leno's like, hey, you going to do the John Madden thing that I'm doing that? Well, how much of that are you going to do? it? Mm, you're going to do me. Do me. Do me. Do Beaker from the Muppet Show. Me, 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 me. And then do, uh, and then do some John Madden. Are you even a sports guy? No, I don't even know anything about sports. I'm not. I don't know about sports. Yes. Uh, so of the newest impressions, because you have to update the act, you always got to be fresh. Not me. You've got the the wrong guy. No, I'm French Travelina in it. You, you're doing a Cardi B thing now, I'm sure. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I, uh, you know, there's, there's the different ones, the weird ones. It's the weird, the thing is that stuff that works on the internet isn't the stuff that always works in the shows. Oh, yeah, good point. So, like, I, John C. Riley is one that's been re really big. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know I could do it. You know, it sounds like an old <laughs> Warner Brothers cartoon. That's one of those, did you touch my drum set? Did you touch my drum set? <laughs> but there's this evolution thing here. Like, if you can do that, <laughs> and then you bring it down, it becomes Mark Ruffalo. Uh -huh. I see this as an absolute yeah. win. Uh, and here's Patrick Mahomes. That's kind of thing right there. Uh, Dude, uh, th that's the thing. You do voices that nobody else even thinks about doing. Like Patrick Mahomes. Uh, yeah, people. I'm sure people do everything now. That's the funny, funny thing is people. Not that they this. do it well. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. So I, I don't know. I try not to watch people because I don't know what they're. Uh, I, I don't want point. to know what they're doing. Right. And the funny thing is, you take Mark Ruffalo, and you bring it down, and it can become Paul Giamatti. <laughs> I believe <laughs> this is probably one of the weirdest situations I've ever been in. And then people will tell me, that sounds like Jack Nicholson. I'm like, it doesn't sound anything like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> this is Jack Nicholson. <laughs> right. There's That's a it. difference. Now, the one that, it does, that people do tell me that Paul Giamatti sounds like is Heath Ledger when he's playing the Joker. And I was like, no, I don't know. And then I started going... Uh, Trying that monologue. You want to know how I got these scars? My father yeah. was a drinker and a fiend. I'm like, oh my gosh, that one is close. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so yeah. definitely. Weird. There are those different voices that bleed into each other. But you so. can weave in and out of all, even well, not the ones what, that bleed into uh, each other. The Robin Williams, watching Robin Williams growing up, you know. No, but I also think you're One psychotic and we need to be watching. There's that. a lot of that. Yeah. But John, that goes all the way to Jonathan Winters. Yeah, oh, no. exactly. Exactly. And uh, the national security folks, of course, eyeball you like nobody's business because <laughs> they have to know where you and all the other people in your head are. That's true. <laughs> at all times. Uh, Frank Caliendo, stick around. More with him coming up in just a second. You got a favorite, Frank? He loves requests and dedications. Yeah, I, think, I want Robin Williams to come back when we come back from the break. I'm sure he could. On a Big 89 W. Ellis, when I was a kid growing up in the 70s, and I'm not knocking any of these guys, Rich Little, you know, he's great and all that. But, Jane, you weren't even a thought in your parents' minds. In and what 70s? you would get is you get a You're guy right. on stage mm -hmm. And he'd go, I went to a party last night. Mm. You wouldn't believe who was there. Mm. And he'd spin around and mess up his hair. <laughs> then he'd turn around and he'd jump into the voices. Uh-huh, and he'd be somebody else. Frank broke down the impression barrier he line, did. and you just you just go, man. Here's you just the thing, because it was that Robin Williams influence, the the... the uh, the Robin Williams theory of comedy. If you don't have a joke, just switch voices. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, that's the weird thing now is that a lot of impression types of comedy are vaudevillian again on the right. internet. Right. It's all, mm. what if uh, Jeff Goldblum worked at Chipotle? <laughs> uh, look here, he is. Uh, uh, what, uh, and Morgan what Freeman came in for a burrito. Yeah. yeah, right. And that's when he realized this burrito was going to take a long time to make. <laughs> <laughs> he had to climb through 500 yards of the longest line at Chipotle. I can't even imagine. Oh, but the, but, but the bottom to. line, right? And correct me if I'm wrong, but the bottom line is the audience is smart enough to catch up. Yeah, I, I mean, I just like the stuff that's more observational and yeah. fun. I might even work on some, like, quote-unquote material that is stuff I can't stand. Right. Like, the ba like, almost making fun of how impressionists mm. do comedy mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. because it was people could never work it in like it was dana carvey could do it 
But there were very few people who could work in impressions into their act and weave it seamlessly like it was actually stand up. Sure. And the idea to do it, well, the way to do it is really what you do is you make an observation, you talk about the person, you talk about some stuff they've done, then you act them out in the different things and, or, the, you know, act out the observations you've made. Most people are just like, okay, how about uh, Donald Trump and he is now. Uh, uh, at an eggplant farm. Well, I didn't even know they planted these things, but they're called plants. <laughs> and there's no eggs. I was looking for a hen. There's a tremendous hen. And there's probably the biggest hen. The white, he was, he was a white hen from White Hen Pantry. I'm not sure if they're still around, but I'm people, people are saying. People are saying. saying. A lot of people. A lot of, a tremendous <laughs> amount of people. Some of the best people and some of them not so good. <laughs> So, <laughs> that Trump has evolved, too. Like, yeah, I did a yeah. sketch with Trump years ago at Trump Tower in New York, in believe it or not, at the time I did it at the NFL on Fox. You couldn't even sure, imagine any. Yeah, so sure, it's like yeah. me as mini Trump dressed yeah. up with Trump, and uh, and just that his he was he would always talk very very strongly, you know, and just punch it out there. Now and maybe it's because he's older and maybe he's just it's tired. Not as but it's just, it's just very. I say the same types of things, some difficult things, but they're quiet. <laughs> <laughs> they're quieter things. Uh, 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 maybe he's just maybe he's just seeing that the whisper can work for Biden, folks. Right. Oh, it's not politics; it's science. It's science. It's science. But then the whisper, whisper, he goes from zero to sixty, right? He yeah. blasts then after that. Yeah, he gets angry. <laughs> the, right, 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 he goes right. with the, the the loud uh, folks, folks, folks. It's no joke. It's not joke. It's no joke. <laughs> Come on. So what's the man. what's your dream? What would be the best person for your act for Trump to pick as a running mate? Oh yeah. Oh well, who would I like? I uh, <laughs> you know I could get the opposite audience. We could get Seth Rogen. That'd be a great one, <laughs> Seth. Uh, I didn't know I was involved here. Uh, <laughs> that sounds pretty good though, I guess. Uh, do I uh, have to build a wall? <laughs> already building it. I'm already building it. <laughs> I'm, I know how I... Uh, I'm not going to get some of my stuff then. <laughs> <laughs> What's harder to do, Seth or the, or the laugh? Uh, I think it probably kind of just goes together. Once you get the laugh, it you goes it. backwards. Because the, the laugh <laughs> is just Ern, uh, Bert from Bert and Ernie. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, just there that. you go. Now, yeah. the De Niro, it's... you've got to see the show this weekend. Mm hmm on stage because to appreciate De Niro you have to appreciate the fact you don't talk all that much but when you do De Niro's face yeah it just happens right yeah. I, I don't say a lot like you said but uh, can we move on with this interview Steve <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> the Trump stuff was driving me crazy <laughs> 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 sitting over there in the corner didn't like it <laughs> come on come on come on come on wherever you are <laughs> did you love when Pacino announced the winning best picture when of he the didn't Oscars? know where he was or what he was right, doing right, 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 and right. suddenly I have a German accent and now I don't have the German accent. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, he's going in, and I think, I, I don't know how much longer we have with Al. Uh, so I'm hoping, because Al's Pacino. But he's the flip side of Trump, because he's getting louder. Uh, whoa, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be quiet. We're in the library. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how about the NFL? Uh, you did all those years on the NFL, and now because you've achieved this level of success, I've uh, my concern for you, it's like Leonard Skinner and Freebird. As soon as you go on stage, people are yelling out yeah. requests. Yeah, I, t I, t I have them all save it till the end. Uh, you know, at the ah, end, I, okay. I say, just say, just wait. If I don't get to it, because there are a lot of impressions I don't get to during the show sure. that people come to see the last five to ten minutes, I'll do, you know, I'll start throwing things out there. Like, what do you got? And people will start throwing things out. Like usually, I forget to do a couple of the sports ones, like a Stephen A. Smith. I didn't even understand I was a, that was appropriate at this time. I have to say, quiet Stephen A. is the fun one. Um, the, but but yeah, there's those that I always forget to do. Bill Walton. I remember being in Berkeley. Blotches of beard not connecting on my face. I could smell colors. I could feel sound. That was one of the most fun things I did this last year. I did a, a Pac-12 game oh, yeah. at Arizona, uh -huh. and it was Colorado versus Arizona, and it was Walton with Walton. And it's the only time Bill Walton focuses more on the game because I'm going so off script. Sure. How great is this? The Suaro cactus as we enjoy the earth <laughs> rotating on its yeah, axis. Yeah, yeah. Orbiting this giant <laughs> ball of gas known as the sun. <laughs>
Hey, a headline in New York uh, out of Bro Bible, the website, which, you know, Jane, I know you're yeah, a big yeah, fan of. Yeah, Bro Bible. Aaron Rodgers thinks he's among uh-huh. the smartest people alive. Oh, boy. You can tell that he thinks that. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, he goes into yeah, a cave. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. waits for his answers in a cave. He comes out. He ends up with the Jets, and he breaks his leg. <laughs> he just looks at you like he, right? you know, he thinks he's smarter than you. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I can I, I can say one, one two words is Aaron, Rod- is Aaron Rodgers, and it comes from that same voice world. But it's just uh, Aaron Rodgers, Iowa University. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly right. When he introduced That's when, he, when they when they yeah. introduced the players, yeah. Aaron Rodgers, uh, <laughs> Iowa University. Fantastic. So when you're working on a voice and you hear that, let's just for example, you hear Aaron Rodgers introducing himself. Do, just when you're sitting watching on your couch, does it immediately come into your head to like do the voice? Well, how could I do it? And then you start saying the thing, same things over and over and mm-hmm, over. Mm-hmm. So it's, but the thing is, that's a tough voice because it starts to bleed into those other voices that I was talking about yeah. before. So to hone it in, you got to really just focus. It's like it's like building a muscle. It's just yep. you know focusing on it and getting it. Uh, the repetition is what builds it. So just I getting I, it listen, in. Listen, I won't ask you to do it, but give me one you're working on uh, to look for in the next few months. Oh, I don't even know. I mean, there's always just different ones I'm throwing out there. So I can, I'm trying to. Th- I mean, you do so like much topical in, stuff. In pop you know, culture. Yeah, there's the I mean, voices. Th- there's there's some that I just throw out there that I don't know what to do with, like uh, Jimmy McGill, which is Better Call Saul. Did you know that you have rights? The right. Constitution says right. you do. <laughs> and so do I. Hi. I'm Saul Goodman, but there's nothing I can do with it. But now, you know what that is? That's the end of the act, too, where you just go, there's no place to do these. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Yeah. And I did it with, I did that with him on TV. <laughs> oh, you did? did yeah, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, what, what's his name? Uh, uh, who's, who's the actor? I can't think of his name right now. Neither can De Niro. Hey, hey, we're trying to get there. That was a, <laughs> that was a nice, you diverted nicely, but Caliendo's not going away from there. Um... Uh, why can't I think of his name? He's on Bob Odenkirk. Bob, yeah. o- Bob oh, Odenkirk. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Zone. Yeah, Odenkirk. And I just I did his laugh with him like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's his laugh. So, uh, uh, you, uh, well, you do any of the late night guys? There's only about 90 Jimmy Fallon, of them I'm now. like, gosh, it's so great. It's so great. Oh, my God, you guys are doing such a great job. Jane, you wear the yellow? It's like a mustard shirt. Oh, man. Why doesn't, we why doesn't Steve yeah. wear ketchup? Yeah. Uh, that'd be so great. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't put ketchup on hot dogs, not in Illinois. <laughs> oh, my gosh, no. <laughs> Have uh, you ever done that with Jimmy Fallon? Because he probably would love it. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, he would love it. Yeah, he no, he's a great guy. Yeah. Yeah, Years ago, I sat it. down with Jimmy and just hung out, hung out with him at the Improv, actually in Tempe, Arizona. We are talking about some oh, yeah. stuff. But he, the, the day I did the Morgan Freeman LeBron letter, uh, where I'm coming home, that thing for when LeBron left Cleveland or <laughs> came back to Cleveland, <laughs> he had uh, Morgan Freeman on that night, and he played a clip of that oh, for Morgan cool. Freeman. He's like, do you like it when people do impressions of you? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not very fond of it. Okay. Because everybody does it. It's the great Frank Kelly. And I'm kidding you. You look fantastic, man. So keep trying hard, it. trying hard. Keep eating that sugar. Improv.com <laughs> slash Chicago. Get your tickets. Don't miss the show this weekend. Uh, Friday night, Saturday night, and great to it's great to reconnect with. Yeah, you. great to see you guys. Thank you. Come yeah, back thanks anytime. for being here. Yeah, I'll be back in an hour. Great. Right. Yeah, well that's fine. Oh, that's fine.